Welcome back. I am Sandy, if you happen to be new, so welcome if you're new. I am going to be making some top um, folding envelopes today, and I'm going to be using these digital prints from the Pink Monarch Prints March Digital Kit. That is a mouthful. This kit came with over 45 different pages. So let me show you a few that I have printed out so far. This monthly kit is, um, I think it's $9. And I have a coupon code that I'll list down below, Rose and the number three, and you can get $3 off of that kit. So I'm going to use these four sheets that I printed out to make my envelopes and I thought their colors would be really nice for backgrounds to decorate up on so that's why I chose them. So I am going to trim off all of the white edges um, on these pages and then I will be right back. So I'm cutting these right at four inches. So they'll be four inches by 10 and a quarter. And then I'm gonna fold it down um, and make it into a little envelope. I really am impressed with the quality of these prints. And I just printed these out on regular copy paper since I knew I was going to be making these into envelopes, so I wanted a little bit more um, flexible paper than my presentation paper that I normally use. And so I folded it up, I just eyeballed it, and I left enough room to where I could get into that pocket and get stuff in and out um, with that flap there. And then I'm just going to take my circle punch and cut a little... Um, notch out of there to make it even easier to get things in and out of the pocket. And then I'm also going to use my corner rounder and round off the corners of the flap. And then I'm going to do that for all of these. So I'll end up with eight envelopes and um, I'll be right back after I finish doing all the other ones. I also decided to ink up all the edges, the front and the back and the inside on these pockets. And after that, I'm gonna now focus on just decorating the front of the pocket. You can see here I have all the different ephemera pieces cut out. Um, these aren't all of them that come in this kit. There's probably eight different sheets of ephemera. Um, but I printed out a few of them and fussy cut them. And these are some of the ones I decided I would work with on these envelopes. But there's so many different ones in here, as you can see. They also included some Easter ones. And um, I think they're really cute also. And there's just so many to choose from. And I have these little labels here that I might use. And then you can see here, paper clipped are all the other ones that I fussy cut out. Um, there's some more Easter ones in there and um, some little trucks and some labels. And then there's also some words. And um, I printed the words out with the sage background, but they also have a coffee dyed background of the same words and black as well. As you can see, there's quite a lot to choose from. So I am going to move these up out of the way a little bit and try to keep a few of them in the camera shot and that I can still see them. And I'm gonna uh, start decorating these first two um, envelopes. And I'm just gonna kind of play around and um, see what colors look nice with the background on this particular paper. The colors are very soft and muted, um, which I think is really pretty for spring. And these little girl um, 
cards with the little girls on them. They remind me of my granddaughters, which is fun. So let me play around and see kind of how I want to decorate these up and then I will be back. So I've decided on what I was going to use in the background. One page um, or one item just has some script writing on it and another one is a little ticket. And then for the little girl card, I actually trimmed it down to make it a little bit smaller and uh, a fit, I think, better on the envelope. So now I'm just going to glue this down. Before I glued the little girl image down, I thought um, a little bit of cheesecloth behind behind that would uh, be a nice um, another texture to add on there. So I'm um, just trim me down a little piece and glue it down. I also decide to add a little label on the top flap of the envelope and I ink that up as well and there's lots of different ways to secure these you could use a uh, velcro and put velcro buttons in there or you could do um, some um, eyelets and tie it and wrap some string around so lots of different ways. You could use a paper clip. So lots of different ways to secure the envelope. And then I'm just going to glue up this pocket. And then I'm going to do the other one. And I'll come back on and show you what that one looks like. So I did the second envelope in a very similar fashion with the little girl. And then I've added these little uh, labels, joy and love, on there. This is really fun decorating these envelopes up. So let me keep going and I'll come back and give you some updates. I think it's helpful to when you're making little clusters is to try to put maybe three items there. You can do more or less, but I think three is a good kind of medium number. You could also add cheesecloth or lace, other layers under there, and then adding labels on top. So just kind of a good rule of thumb. You can start with three and then you can build up from there um, as it works on your particular design. So I'm going to get these all glued down and um, show you what they look like. I am using my reptile glue to glue these down and um, also my scotch create glue stick those are kind of my two go-to glues when I'm working with paper I might also sew around the edges of the envelope I haven't totally decided if I'm going to do that or not still contemplating that I hope that my ideas spark some ideas in your head on ways to decorate up these envelopes. These also, these pages could be just used for pages in a journal, but I think it's fun to take these digital files and make them into other things besides just pages in a journal. All right, here is the finished look of these two. And I really like how they're coordinating with the flowers, but each one just a little bit different. This next sheet that I'm working with, it actually is a directional print. And so you want to think about that. Um, and if you want the writing to be right side up once you fold it, take that into account. Um, I didn't the first time, so then I had to refold these. But that's true for any sort of directional print. When you're folding those up, um, you want to be mindful of 
if you want the um, writing or the print to be right side up. On these, I just went with a real simple layout. That butterfly is so big, I just wanted to add a little splash of color with those flowers behind it. And then um, the other one, again, just that layers of three I put on there. And then I, I do come back later and add labels on these. On these last two, I thought it would be fun to do a little nod to Easter. This paper is just so pretty. And so I thought I'd play around with the bunnies in this teacup and see what I could come up with. I struggled making decisions on these two, so it took me a little bit to figure out what I wanted to use behind the teacup and the bunny because I knew I wanted to use the teacup and the bunny. So this is what I settled on and I think it looks really nice. So I'm going to ink all these up and I'll glue these two down and I am adding a cheesecloth on the bunny one and then I'll also add some labels and then I'll come back and um, show you all of them um, at once. I really like how these turned out. I think the labels in Sage really add a nice uh, contrast to the other muted colors on each one of these. And these little girls are just precious. So make sure you check out the information in my description box below on these kits. Um, I didn't print out all of the pages, so there's over 45 different digital pages that come in this kit. And you can use my coupon code ROSE and the number 3. I'll make sure to put that down below as well. Let me try adding a Velcro dot on one of these see how that looks. And these are some Velcro sticky dots that I had in my stash. I don't remember where I got them from. But I put the two sides together um, and pushed that together. And then I am going to glue, use some glue even though they're sticky. Just some extra reinforcement there and glue that down. And I'm lining it up so that it'll match um, the flap and it won't show once it's closed and then I just put it down and I'm going to add a little bit more glue and then push the top down. I let the glue dry so let's check it out and it works perfectly. So now I have this nice little envelope that I can stuff some goodies down into. So remember to check out the link down below to the website and use my discount code if you want to try one of these kits. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.